Well, today we made the decision to uh, null process the case of uh, State of Arkansas versus James Bates, uh, which essentially is a dismissal without prejudice. We have the right to refile the case within a year if we find new evidence. Uh, the reason for doing this uh, is that we could the evidence in the case could not meet the legal requirements of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, a circumstantial homicide like this is uh, has to have evidence, uh, according to Arkansas law, that is consistent with the guilt of the accused beyond a reasonable doubt and inconsistent with any other reasonable explanation. We feel, I mean obviously we're very happy that the prosecution dismissed the case, um, but we also have a lot of empathy for the victim and the victim's family. Um, so this is not a, a day of, you know, rubbing it in anyone's face. We know from looking that we brought in forensic experts, blood spatter experts. Um, we looked at the evidence very carefully. We met with the prosecution. We commend them for doing the right thing. Um, and that's what prosecution should do. They should investigate cases. And I think this case fell apart on the medical evidence. This, you know, wasn't a murder. You know, as a department, we were comfortable with, with what we presented. Maybe review it and keep going. There. We know we do have some little bit of time with that, and it is still a possibility. So, for justice for the family, we're hoping that they continue to move forward. Will uh, the department continue to try to work on this case, try to find more evidence, and will y'all continue to work on this case? We're going to continue to keep it open, and just in hopes that we do have the, a chance for a second review on it, and that hopes that you know, if, if anything else would come up, also we'll have that with it. I guess it does put added pressure on you now that you know you have a year. I don't know if it, if it actually adds or not. It's been important to us from day one, so as, as soon as possible, we're hoping to get some kind of resolution. That's something, that, especially for the family. So today, the prosecuting office has decided that they wanted to not cross the case against um, James Bates for murdering my husband. To say that I'm devastated is an understatement. Um, I believe that my family, my children, um, and this county deserves better um, deserves a, ch a fighting chance for someone to stand up and make an argument um, and I don't feel like that was done here there's been numerous times and countless countless meetings with the district attorney where he sat down and told me that he firmly believes that James Bates murdered my husband um, if that's what he truly believes which I, I think it is and that I think is what the Bentonville Police Department has done an outstanding job of putting together and packaging up for him I don't understand why we are here today in the situation that we're in very disappointed. I feel extremely let down by the judicial system. Being a, a former law enforcement officer myself. Tried to think more outside the box on this case than anything else. Uh, hiring independent experts to review it, traveling all over the country to talk with different experts, both that we hired and the defense hired, um, as well as engaging in litigation with Amazon uh, because the, the police found a device in his home and uh, we thought it was important to search it. And so uh, we went ahead with that. We're able to obtain that recording. It didn't have anything of evidentiary value on it, uh, but I think that represents uh, the commitment we had to make sure that we've looked under every rock.